What's going on guys, Ruby Red here. Just before this video starts, uh, I wanted to explain what was going on in this video. I'm going to be changed out of this um, into a different shirt as you're going to see. Um, excuse my bad audio quality. Uh, his equipment and my equipment is very different so uh, my voice is going to be lower than his. Uh, I tried to make it as loud as I can, but without making him as loud as he can. But uh, who I'm interviewing today is none other than uh, Juicy Boy TV. Uh, he has different types of content that uh, is very different, and as you're going to see in this video, uh, you know we're we're just going to explore this together. He is also a cosplayer. He does what he does. Um, do uh, keep in mind that so uh, <laughs> uh, but thank you guys for uh, joining me on this journey as like I said we're going to be interviewing all types of different people so uh, yeah and uh, I'm going to make this into a three part uh, video so this one you're about to see is uh, the first part. So please do enjoy and uh, we'll cut it over to them. Alright, I will see you guys in a second. What is going on guys? Ruby Red here, your host. I am here with the one, the fabulous, the only, Juicy Boy TV. Hi! How you doing, Juicy Boy? Hi! <laughs> <laughs> it's an honor to be here. Juicy Boy is kind of famous on his uh, his platforms and everything, and he's not even in the U.S. <laughs> like, Can you believe like, it? A, a British like, person, famous on the internet. From the U.K. I want to I want to be able to go to the U.K. one day and Ooh. you know explore. You know I I've been uh, I've, I've been to the U.S. Of... a couple times. I've been to the U.S. Um, yeah, I've seen I've seen you be here. It's just I don't have the money to travel, mm, you know, to, to to actually see you in person. Yeah, because I would love to get I would love to get a picture with you and stuff. We'll so. get some fish and chips. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, tell us how who you are, and uh, for the other audience, uh, your pronouns. Oh, sure. Well, you, you can call me about? anything you like, as long as it's not late for dinner. Yeah, anything flies by me. <laughs> Any oh, friends are fine. <laughs> I'm a... I'm a... I never normally know what to label what I do as content. It's such a fluid experience. Um, I do makeup content. I, I do lots of makeup transformations and cosplays. A lot of boy to girl transformations. A lot of gender bending going on with what I do. I've done I've done uh, one fair share of uh, <laughs> of uh, I can't even speak <laughs> of uh cosplaying really so, who did you cosplay uh, yeah i've uh, yes i cosplay yes it's just been a while mm. since i've actually cosplayed who did you do uh, i did a female i did the uh female cl from black butler no way do you have any pictures of it? You need yeah. to send me a layer. I do. I I do. Um, send it to you. Yeah, do it. So it should be coming up here in a little bit. I did send send. I did send Yo! ten things. There we go. No way. What? Yeah. Stop. This is amazing. That was the one and only one that I've ever done of uh, cross. Oh, this black and white one goes hard. I love it. That was my favorite one out of all of it. I don't think there was any sound on that one. And I, I was in my actually paid for it. <laughs> 
Oh, man, the foundation's so clean as well. Oh. Oh. I got it. I got it done, actually. Oh, you've got you've got upsettingly uh, nice skin. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh when I when I shave um, when I actually shave, I get a baby face. Yeah. So like the, so the makeup works perfectly. Yeah. Who who did this eyeliner? It's incredible. I went to the I went to my local mall. Nice. Yeah, I've never done. I've I've always wanted to get one of those done, like the like the makeup done at the mall. Yeah, I've done it, and I was like, how can you make me more fabulous than I am mm -hmm. with this dress? And <laughs> they deliver. So <laughs> they did. That's clean. Back here, one, two. And I've got my Harley Quinn here. We're about to slay. We're about to rock this. <laughs> and uh, we will keep you guys. And like updated. seeing that, like it, it's like you you don't recognize the voice. <laughs> me seeing that, you you're kind of you know, and that's me and my wife. So. <gasps> Oh, it's so cute! Oh, I love it! You guys look amazing. You're so happy. But first, before we like actually get into everything, I wanted to thank you again for, you know, actually doing this with me. You know, <laughs> it's um, a pleasure. Actually, considered, you know, uh, doing this interview interview with me at all. Yeah, I've been looking forward to doing it. <laughs> uh, that's what I've been seeing because every time uh, I pop in the stream uh, on your on your Twitch, I'm gonna you know plug it in. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, on your on your stream, uh, I always just say hi and how everything's going, and then you mention it to everybody. <laughs> yeah, and and I'm like, oh my god, you know, <laughs> it kind of it kind of freaks. Because I don't know if you're doing that just to to be nice or you're genuinely, you know, excited about it. Oh, yeah. I mean, so. to be to be honest, I've been waiting my whole life to be able to do this, right? I've, I've waited. To, I've been working and trying to make content since I was like 11 years old, maybe even 10 years old. So I've been doing this for mm -hmm. like 17 years, like, tr like wanting to, like, to be in this position. And, like, now, now that I'm here in this position, I'm not wasting a fucking minute of it. I'm not wasting a second of it. Just, like, ignoring shit and just, like, like you know, just treating it all like, oh, yes, yeah, like, people are watching me. Yeah, so, like, as if it's anything I deserve. Like, when when people want to do stuff, like, I want to be involved. I want I want, I want to, like, be able to talk to fans and, and to people. Like, I, like, just like, just like a fucking normal person because, like, I'm... Like, you know, it's, I, I don't want to wait, like, at some point, at some point, you know, I won't be, I, I won't be doing this as, like, a job, like, in the future, like, you know, either, like, I mean, I'd, I'd be happy doing this until the day I die, but eventually there'll be a day, if I, if I stop, or if I just collapse, that I won't be around anymore, so, I want to, I want to oh, enjoy every moment of it. Uh, I'll still be watching, even though you're 65. Yeah, you know? <laughs> I'll be doing the cosplays at 73. You know. <laughs> hey, 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 you can do. Hey, you can do. Um, How's moving castle? You can do Sophie. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. there's still plenty. But, you know. You know. know I'd still. I'd still be doing the cat girls. You know. <laughs> oh yes. But you know. You know. Throw throw the references in there. You know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but no, I mean, I, I've the the biggest thing. I think the main thing I'm thankful that I was a bit older when I sort of gained an audience. Like I'm 27 now, um, and oh, well, you're the same age as me, actually. Hell yeah, I'm so. <laughs> I'm so thankful that like I don't think like I'm old. Like we joke about it on stream, and like people always joke like because all the other sort of like all the all the, all the little femboys. They're all like 18, yeah. 19. They're, they're they're fresh. They're babies. They're babies. And and then and there's right. me. I you know I'm I'm not old by any means, but next to them it's always like a fun joke. But at least I'm glad that I didn't come into an audience until I was at least about twenty five. And I I lived a very painstakingly grueling life beforehand uh, i i've i've worked many many jobs and i've i've experienced a, a 
my fair share of humbling life experiences before this. So I, I managed to, I'm thankful that I had a bit of grounding beforehand. So, so that way, then, if, if I gained all this following and, and if I did all this whilst I was 18 years old, I would have been a lot of shit. I would have been, I would have been the next Jake Paul easily. I would have been. Not the, <laughs> not the Jake Paul. I would have, I would have done anything for views and Claire. I would have been a menace. I would have been a monster. <laughs> Well, see, the thing is, is um, I forget when I actually found you, um, but I found you very interesting because it was very different. But in my mind, I only saw the girl side of you. Uh huh. Because, because you've only because I that was before Instagram made the videos. Mm hmm. So I so like I was I was thinking like you had a twin. <laughs> yeah i was like so so i was like so you got a brother and then there's you so yeah. that you guys like were like twins yeah a lot of people used to think especially back when i was first blowing up a lot of people would ask for they would be like what's here at what's what's the other person's Instagram or like what's what's their Twitter name like who are they and I'd, I'd have to be there like in the comments be like it's it's me like <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm like, both the people like nine and it's like, <laughs> like <what? laughs> oh my god and I wanted to thank you for the shirt you don't need to thank me you you, know, you paid was... for it yeah <laughs> so, so, you know um, it was a pre-order only. Yeah, so I should be I, thanking I, I you. I should be thanking you for for buying it. Yeah, help me. Yeah, 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 help me. You know, I I put I put the uh we we the money I made for the merch I've been putting into laser hair removal and um it's well uh, yeah it's, it's, I, it's been... I, I've seen that and I've seen your progress through that. Ah yeah, uh, I've been and, I've then, been and then yesterday with the 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 uh, truth or wax. Oh yeah, you know? we did a truth or wax stream last night. Cause yeah, the laser hair removal I, I've been doing has been on my face, my chest, and my stomach. They've been they've been areas that have just been they've just not been fun to be growing facial hair. It's it's not made me feel the most comfortable in my own skin, and I I wanted to I wanted to raise some money so that I could afford to do it. Um, and and whenever I do something, I want to make sure it's worth it. Um, especially if I'm making merch too. Um, the first, the one time I made merch in the past, I did it all handmade. I remember that one. I did it all handmade and I went fucking crazy. I spent two weeks working for like 18 hours a day. I was like acid bleaching these shirts. I was dyeing them. I I learned how to screen print myself and I did it all from home. I made like a hundred shirts. Um, cause I wanted it to just not be like a, something I order from like Redbubble or something and, uh, right. and it just be like a quick thing. I wanted to make sure it was really cool. Um, and that's always what I wanted to do. And if I'm offering and if I'm doing anything, um, so with the merch that we just did, like that shit there, that was with Chair Illustrations, who is an incredible artist. I, I met her at a Comic-Con, um, and we both had the same idea. We wanted to work on some merch together um and see how that played out and and I, I knew they made such wonderful stuff having stuff on the sleeves having a design oh, yeah. like having like it not just be a regular shirt with just a small little logo on it um and making you, it you worth the while go big or go home right exactly if it's if it's not something yeah. i would wear then i i wouldn't sell it yeah thing it's yeah it's a, it's a knockoff version of it but <laughs> it's still you know different yeah my usual uh ruby that i usually wear it the the string broke so i'm yeah. kind of mad about that uh, and that's always uh, the criteria for anything that i want to wear is is if it's different then i want it that's usually i think i screenshotted your i think i sent you screenshots of your uh instagram your yeah we got you you sent like a whole a whole bunch of things to just to, to take a look through um, yeah because you and your your follow count for me it is uh phenomenal <clears throat> okay, where, where where would you where should we start do these things uh well i, I wanted i wanted to kind of plug in like your numbers and stuff so like oh i see that <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> so 
So I've got the uh, like, screenshot of my TikTok here. You got a screenshot of that. Yes, I, I I went in there and I I got a your 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 Instagram, your Twitter. Well, not your Twitter, but you know. Oh yeah, the Twitter's new. Um, Twitter scares me. Yeah, Twitter is Twitter. Twitter is very new. But <laughs> I, I see your I see your photos and stuff on there. So oh, I also blog. Uh, plugged in your, uh, you know, your YouTube channel because yeah, I did you know, see that your... too. That's uh, it's one I don't give enough love, but I'm gonna be working on in the future. Um, I really want to get some YouTube videos going. The the um, creator to creator, uh, how how do you balance all three of those? Um, well, you know, at the moment, the, a lot a lot of. Around? A lot of content that I do is very transferable into other, like, with short form content, you can sort of obviously post to multiple platforms with the same content. So that's normally not too difficult to just sort of keep on top of. Um, whereas doing other kinds of content, like streaming, longer form YouTube videos, Instagram posts, like, with me, I struggle to manage my time. I'm a, I'm a very, like, narrow visioned kind of person i'll focus on like one thing at a time and i'll put all of my like attention into one thing it's where i keep struggling to like maintain multiple platforms i'm all, i'm usually like putting all in to one platform at a time and then ignoring the other ones uh like right now i'm streaming so i've not posted anything on tiktok in the past week i've just been streaming like a bunch instead oh yeah I, i'm always in there i'm always in there. So. <laughs> i see you in there Oh my god, but that, that bit of... Don't use that tutorial, okay? Don't use that. This is the new updated one. Now, it's no <laughs> secret that one. I have a bit of a following on social media. Part of it might be because of the tits. All of it that might is. be because of the tits. But there's makeup involved, too. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to... <laughs> oh my god, that was... That, that, like, sit in my mind while I was at work. I had to, like... And it was, like, it was playing. And I had to go back, like, <laughs> later down the line, like, in my free time, I was like, did I hear that right? <laughs> <laughs> and the, wife, the wife, like, heard it, the wife heard it too, and she was like, did he just say tit? I was like, yeah, watch <laughs> And that, that, that about that was wonderful. Thank you. I was really happy I, I really with liked, that. I really loved it. I was really happy. I'm I really sure loved you've got the like a, a picture of it too. Uh, yeah, I was I was really like happy with how the bears that came out. It was uh, like I really wanted like I I just kind of like came up with a new makeup style that I was trying out um, just at the same time that I got this cosplay. Um, and it really sort of paired together well. I'm never gonna take a photo as good as this one ever again. That's I don't what know you what were, you were saying in multiple streams. You're like, this is like the golden. This is you it. Know, this is a peak. This is the magnum opus. This this one uh, this this one image could be like a corpse album cover, and that and then that that, that would be it. Like I I cannot imp do any better than this. And I'm ne I never I, if I tried to do this again, I, it wouldn't work. I would never be able to do this again. I don't know what it was. Mine would be that black and white photo. Would be like the. That was really good. Yeah, the black, the black and, and white one you took. What's your fa What's your yeah. biggest favorite big video you've ever done? Okay, so my biggest or my favorite? Your biggest. My biggest. Well, my the biggest video I did, um, it was back in say around twenty. It was around 2021. It was a TikTok video. Let me find it. It had over 10 million views. I know where it is. Like, I know exactly what outfit it is. <laughs> it went ridiculous ridiculously viral um here it is yeah um i think this is it i think this is the biggest video i ever did it got 10 million views 
it was back in 2021 when I was first blowing up on TikTok. And like every other video I would post would just get millions of views. At first, I think it was because it was sort of, it would get into cringe compilations. My makeup used to be yeah. like really, really bad and I'd get all like terrible comments, but it worked out to just sort of boost my videos and some people were nice. Um, and then as I improved, I guess the vibe sort of changed. But this, after a little while of doing videos, this was uh, the most viral I think I've, I've been um, on TikTok. Oh, hold on. There we go. Is it freezing? Yes, I remember this one. <laughs> yeah, and the, and the, the cheeky wink at the end. <laughs> <laughs> like, how did you not know it was me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that wig, that was the first wig I ever bought. I still have it. I, I, I never brushed it. I, it was a mess. Like, it, <laughs> it's, that, that, it's just a that, mess. Um, but yeah, this was you like, looked the first... really, you looked really good and you did really good on it. Cause I remember seeing that on my timeline uh on uh tiktok and i was like i just sat there for hours i was like this is another dude <laughs> i i've been posting a bunch i just sort of like i think i went up to like my i started using this camera here that i got as like a webcam i was using that to make tiktoks yep. i just make them on the phone at the moment these days just because it's easy to do but i was um making them on like the camera i would spend ages ages making out because the amount of times i would like film the same like i make i do like a turn i'm like huh 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 and i would just do this like over and over again like until like it looked kind of cool um like i would to every take that i normally do for a tiktok there's at least 30 takes that i've done like of this what that that simple one second there i probably did that like yeah. 20 times just because the amount of because times like, from, I'd watch it and be like, I smiled from, uh, funny. I looked weird. Like, <laughs> I did from emote an outside, properly. From uh, outside in, it looks like you just kind of, you know, you kind of had it already down. Of, yeah. Like, how you to do it. <laughs> A lot of people say, well, you know, you make it look, like, you know, it looks like you just sort of do easy. Like, no, I'm sociopathic when it comes to like filming the videos. I, I, will, I will redo so many takes. Um, I will just like I, right now, like when I do it now on TikTok, you can just like reshoot a clip, and I will, yeah, I'll film it. Sometimes I'll, I'll know when I've done it that it looked bad. Like I won't even like watch it back. I'd be like, that I fucked it up. No, I'm like, don't like, like no, no not today. I, I, I catch a glimpse of myself, and I'm like, that I already know. And I'm just like refilm, and I film like a bunch, and then you can cycle through them then, and I pick which version where like I moved correctly on the beat. A lot of a lot of it will be if I'm turning to go into another shot. The timing, it's always like a gamble. It's like a lottery of whether or not I I smiled or I met my cue correctly and then I turn at the right time just so that way that it cuts off as I'm halfway moving and then I go into the next one and it sort of seamlessly works. Um, so I, I'll be there for a, for a minute trying to get the timings right for a lot of them. Um, but that was the first kind of super, super... Actually, no, that was not the first... But that was definitely the biggest video at the time um, that blew right. up. Um, and that was a format that uh. I kind of... Like that format of video where it's... There's a scenario that requires me to dress up or get into a cosplay or to dress up as a girl. Like that was something I really wanted to do. Um, it was an idea I sort of came up with. I'd seen someone make a similar video. I'd seen someone make a similar video and I liked that because I had a bit of a conundrum when I was first making content um, and I wanted to make this type of content. I wanted to use TikTok. I wanted to use social media as an excuse to to do makeup and express myself in this kind of way. It's uh, like a lot of people think like, oh, it's like it's the other way around. But no, I very much wanted to make this content and, I, and I've been I've been doing I've been wanting to, you know, do makeup and make this kind of content for like seven years. I've been doing this 
in secret for for many years i know i it was my biggest secret i didn't want anyone to know about it so my approach to going into it was how do i come up with a way that isn't going to make me look self-indulgent and therefore cringe um <laughs> how can i think of a way that gives me an excuse to dress up i'm like oh well i'll make a scenario it's a tiktok trend it's a scenario where i oh no i have to dress up as a girl oh gosh um <laughs> hey at least you get at least you would get free drinks when you got in right yeah what that was and the struggle of you know not having it you be that 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 totem mm -hmm. for those people you know the the best messages i ever get sent in like instagram dms and like comments are when people they they say like you know um they say like you know i i was able to understand my gender identity or my gender expression like like with with the help of of your videos like it, and it made me feel less alone with it and it helped me like, like it, it it led me down um you know like i i, I never think like anyone's gonna watch one of my videos and be like oh my god like i've figured it all out but like i'm happy to be like a part of someone's kind of journey to figuring it out um and it was it wasn't something i anticipated being a part of anyway i didn't i didn't think i was gonna have like an impactful experience on the internet making content i thought i was gonna make my little silly videos get some attention you know and and that would be it but uh, along the road like people started reaching out and being like I, I didn't see people beforehand who like who like me um and right. I got to see your videos and and it, it was really helpful and like when they when they when they tell me this they'll, they'll often like I'll find it that they're much younger too you know maybe they're like even like as young as like 18 sometimes I've had messages from from people who are like 16 um you know and mm -hmm. I, and I, I get to live vicariously through them almost because I never got to experience that level of comfort when I was that age, it was, it was a very right. shameful thing for me growing up. And it took me until I was 25 to be able to openly make content and explore my gender expression, um, you know, without hiding it in a fucking dorm room. Just having fun. Yeah. So go ahead and do what you, you know, do what you do. I've so. got, I've got ancestry in like scotland and like celtic warriors um you know and i i always like to imagine they're looking down and just like watching they're like ah let's let's just check on let us check on the bloodline how is how is our bloodline doing and they look down they just see me dressed in, <laughs> dressed in my skin and i look i look back at my ancestors and i go the bloodline dies with me <laughs> <laughs> Not the, not the recent rainbow video, but it was the one uh, one week you did with your long nails. Oh, I see. Wait, did you send this one? Yes. Let me take a look. Let me pull that. I up. think it was the recent one. Oh, this look. No, no, not no, that. not the pride one. It was like more recent. Like I just like I sent it earlier, like. Oh, that. this! I remember this one. Those nails did not. Yeah, go that hard, and so. that video <laughs> is, um, the ones because my that came out on like around my wife's birthday, and yeah. my wife never had her nails done. Like she she hasn't done her nails in like oh, forever. Oh yeah, this was one of so, the first times I got so my nails done. we took we took a a screenshot of your nails. Like really? You and, your nails, and we got our nails done. <gasps> you got them done together? I got we got them together. I That's got mine so cool. I got mine in purple. She's got hers exactly how you got yours. Oh my god, that's so cool. She looked at me because I went and sat down with her and she was like, What are you doing? I was like, getting my nails done. She was like, You don't have to get them done with me. I was like, <laughs> you're like you're like you're like I don't, I don't think you understand you're like you're like move you're like i've been waiting for this one i've been waiting for this uh, one <laughs> I was like, she doesn't have she doesn't have like the at the time she didn't have like the girlfriends that she has today mm -hmm. so i was like i don't mind doing nails i've always wanted to do them but you know i've never you know went in there myself and did them yeah so 
uh, that was my excuse of, you know, going in there and be like, can you do my nails pointy and purple? Yeah. <laughs> so it's always my mantra. It's always my mantra in life. You know, it's what I live by is when you don't have any bitches, you become bitches. You know, <laughs> yeah, because in one of your videos, you're in one of your videos, you're like, you're like, oh, I don't have a girlfriend, then I'll become my own. I will girlfriend. become the girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I always thought that'd be a funny one. People enjoy that one. This outfit. <laughs> Finn is that middle. <laughs>